Hello guys, welcome back to the Tough Puff. Um, just a heads up, I know I sound pretty goofy on camera, but I think I sound goofier today because I have um, a stuffy nose, so I'm going to be sniffling a lot. And today we're going to do um, a Vespa Queen deck list. This is my deck list. I've got a lot of input from a couple of pretty good players. But before we start the deck list, I told you guys I had three... Ancient Origins booster boxes. I did the first one on camera, but I told you guys I'm probably going to do the other two um, off of camera. So I'll just show you guys what I pulled um, in the other two boxes. I got Amphro CX, the Mega, another full art mod champ, two um, half art mod champ, a Mega Skeptal um, full art, the half art. I have four Lugia. This is a very, very pretty card. Um, the Half Art Lugia. Another Mega Tyranitar. So this one's for trade. Um, this is for trade. These two are for trade. The Amphros are for trade. This Mod Champ is for trade. And then I have um, a Hoopa EX. So my favorite card in the whole set was a Full Art Hoopa. Unfortunately, all three boxes, I didn't get it. So I'll probably have to trade for one or buy it so okay now on to the deck list this is um it was a pretty hype deck this is a Vesta Queen Evolution deck and I was actually very excited to play this deck um after playing for a little bit I'm not sure if I like it too much I'm not even sure if my deck is my deck list is even that good after doing some research online I've seen some other people play Slurpuff um, I see some people play some Night Marches in it, even though I crushed that deck, but, you know, it's another idea. So, you know, all those ideas are like, you know, I'm going to take them into consideration before I make a final, final deck list. So, we'll just do a, qu a quick deck list real quick. Alright, the main attacker is going to be Vespa Queen, so we play a 4-4 Vespa Queen line. And Vespa Queen, um, B Revenge, does 20 plus 10 more damage for every Pokemon in the discard pile. So the main purpose of the deck is, you know, dumping Pokemon into the discard pile, powering up so we can attack. Pretty much, um, it's a replica of Plasma Flareon, except it has 10 HP lower. Okay, and to pair our Vespa Queen, we have, we're going to read 4 Evolution, I mean Energy, Evolution EVs because we do run basic energy in this deck and to pretty much sum up what energy evolution is If you attach a fire energy to the EV, it'll, it could um, evolve straight into Flareon straight out of the deck So, you know, we do run basic energy. So we do run the energy evolution EV and for the evolution we run two Jolteon and two Flareon. This will always going to be um, a meta call so let's say in the future there are some Pokemon weak to water, you'll run the Vaporeon. But right now I can't think of anything that's weak to water. So these um, evolutions, their effect is if it's on the field, every one of your stage one Pokemon counts as their type. So if Flareon's on the field, that means Vespa Queen will be a grass type. And a fire type. Now, if they're both on the field, that means it could be a grass, lightning, and fire type. So it gives you more options to hit for hit for a weakness. So with fire and lightning, you could hit you know mega um, mega Rayquazas for a lot of damage. You could hit um metal Pokemon for a lot of damage. So I picked a two two you know Jolteon Flareon line, no Vaporeon. Then we run. Four unknown, unknown. If it's on your bench, you can discard it without giving up a prize card and draw one card. This card is pretty much made for this deck. Not only can you like level ball for unknown, put it down, discard it. You draw a card and then you power up your Vespa Queen at the same time. So I run four unknowns. I see some just run three. I think four is awesome. And then we run two shamans for draw power. I guess you could call shaman your secondary attacker. I mean, I wouldn't call it a great secondary attacker, but <laughs> it is what it is. 
Next for supporters, we've won four Professor Sycamores. It's the best draw support in the game now. Two Professor Birches. I'm still picking Birch over Shauna for now. I might switch to Shauna later. One live standard target where you what you want to knock out. One teammate because everything in this deck is pretty low HP, so it can get knocked out pretty easily. So teammates is a good card to have. And then we play one Hex Maniac because I think Vile Plume is going to be a thing. So we need our turns to um, use our item cards because this is a hide em every deck. And since um, Vespa Queen does rely on double colors a lot, um, you could use this to get past um, Age of Slash's um, ability. So next for items. Four Via Seekers to reuse supporters. You run three Ultra Ball and three Level Ball. Level Ball gets any Pokemon you want in this deck, not name Shaman. And Ultra Ball, you know, drop your hand size down, get the Shaman, draw, and it could get any Pokemon you want. We run three Battle Compressor. I did have four. I think four is a little bit too much. I have no problem getting this early game, so I run three Battle Compressor just to dump the Pokemon or supporters or any junk you might need into the discard pile. Next, we run three Muscle Bands just for extra damage. Hit the magic numbers. Two Trainers Mails. I would like to make this three, maybe in the future, but this is a really useful card to reach for Battle Compressor. Um, the muscle band, the level ball, it's just a pretty good card to reach for um, supporters too. We want one Sacred Ash. I am, it sounds kind of counterproductive, but I could mill through the deck pretty fast. And if your you know, Combees and Vesper Queen get knocked out or discarded, you get them back because that is your only attacker. We run one switch, just a switch. You know, I like to run two, but there's in my opinion, no room right right now. No room in my deck list for to run a second switch. Next, we have two fourths of giant planets. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of time to talk about this card because a lot of people are against running this card. First of all, I don't like running a um a deck without a stadium card, especially now because every deck runs a stadium. So I pick fourth of giant planets, and the reason I picked it because you can drop Vesper Queens out of nowhere. You know, you could drop a combi, get a level ball, put a Vesper Queen down, power it up. You could attack turn one going second if you had four of the giant plants. And even though I only run two, if one of them is not prized, I could pretty much get this almost every first turn. So I like four of the giant plants. The the two people I talk with, one doesn't like it and one likes it a lot, you know, and I like it a lot. I like having this. And I don't consider Paint Roller a stadium. You know, it's a good card. I don't think it's a bad card. It's just I rather have this. I think this really helps Combi and the Vesta Queens. Next we have energy. We have four double colorless, just the power of Vesta Queen up, and then we have one fire, one light two lightning. And the three basic is once a gun gonna be a meta call. If you run a Vaporeon, you of course would one would you want to run a, a water energy. And um or honestly you just cut all three of these out and drop the energy evolution EV, then run another EV with higher HP. Because um I don't know, all the times I I've been testing with this deck, there's not a lot of times I actually use energy evolution is a cool thing to have. But I just don't use it that much. I mean, you could just drop all three of these and then put three trainers or supporters or whatever other card you want. And, um, or you could use these to manually, um, power up a Aegis Slash. I mean, power up a, a, um, a Vesta Queen so you could hit Aegis Slash past his ability. Okay, so, yep, that's my Vesta Queen decklist. Um,. I'm not sure if I like it too much. I'm still... I think I'm stuck on Raichu still. I'm still playing with the Raichu deck. So, but, you know, this is a... I think it's a pretty fun deck. And it's pretty inexpensive, to be honest. I mean, the most expensive card in here was probably the Shamans. And, honestly, you don't need to run Shamans. Shamans is really nice to have. But the rest of the cards are like uncommons and commons. 
Okay, so that's that's the queen. Thank you very for thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and have a good night.